A little less than a week ago, on April 16th, BSG dropped patch 14.5.5 and completely changed how game audio works in Tarkov. It not only effectively removed sneaking, it made walking pretty much useless for anything other than gaining stamina and made every action our PMCs made from ADSing, messing with our gear, all of that was super audible from over 30 meters away. Now, from what I saw, the overwhelming reaction was negative to these changes. Even people who didn't want completely silent sneaking and wanted that to go away, and I was one of them, were not happy with where these changes put the game with patch 14.5.5. Now, I went into details of these changes in a video already, so go check that out if you haven't because it's super important and it builds some groundwork for this video. And I was only able to play Tarkov for basically a day and a half after the patch because the audio was physically uncomfortable for me. Everything was just so damn loud and there was weird audio bugs that just sucked to sit there and play the game. Well, BSG responded pretty quickly. On an April 18th, they installed another technical update adjusting many of these issues that people were complaining about, though not all of them. So first off, they reduced the hearing radius of sounds in a crouch position by 50% for other players. Now this doesn't apply to all sounds. I, I just wanna be clear here because the wording is a little murky. This is a, an application only to your walking sounds, you know, your footsteps and things like that. Now, we didn't test this on stream because it's Sunday when I made this video and I didn't want to fire everything up to do that, but Tower, Tower helped me do it, so we've got really good results. And those results were pretty surprising to me. Mostly good, but some gaps and some problems still. Now, the first issues I had were the fact that surfaces and weight do not seem to matter in any real measurable way. I can't say 100% that the sounds are exactly the same, just because it's impossible to test distances perfectly with audio and stuff like that. But for all intents and purposes, the audio didn't vary much more than a meter based on weight or what surface you walked on. We were all pretty much like, with the one test we did, it was all 14 to 15 meters, basically. So what that means is there's no difference in how far somebody can hear you on wood. Metal. Concrete. Grass or glass. So that's a change. And then also there is no difference in underweight, overweight, or red weight, which is green, yellow, red, I guess, however you want to call it. All of the audio profiles were pretty much the same or very, very, very similar. Now, at first I thought this was super bad, but the more I thought about it, the more I'm happy they did this. When you have a complex system, which Tarkov's audio definitely is, and it isn't working right, which it definitely isn't, the best way to fix is to start simplifying the whole process by removing variables till you can get everything dialed in and where you want it. Then once you're, you've are you got a good foundation, essentially, you start adding complexity back on top of that. So hopefully, I don't know that that's what BSG is doing, but it feels like that to me and just kind of these changes in the way they're going. Now, in addition to this, the headsets are all nearly identical now. There are slight differences between uh, the various headsets. And I didn't test these myself because I didn't really want to take the time to go test a bazillion headsets when others have already done it. ITB Skippy, for example, he replied on one of my tweets was talking about this. He did some testing and I, I double checked some of it and pretty much verified it. So I think this is good, trustworthy information. Um, basically from the furthest that you can hear, contact fours to the, the shortest distance you can hear, which would look like contact twos, it's 2.6 meters of difference. And this was with crouch walking. And you might see different, bigger gaps with some other audio, but more importantly, it's all very, very, very similar now. The only big gap is without headsets, which um, you saw a five-ish meter difference with different sounds. So with these slight differences, what it means is there's not a big enough a difference, at least in my opinion, to warrant spending 200K versus 60 or 70K on headsets. We're back to a place where we were, I don't know, what is it? A year and a half now, maybe two years where we can pick our headsets based on the audio profiles that are comfortable to each of us personally, not which one lets us hear 10 meters further than the other guy. And that's a fantastic change in my opinion. And I'm super glad they did this. Metagamers can still say my headset lets me hear a little bit further if they want to do that, but it's not enough to really drastically impact fights. Okay, now here are some of the results. I have them listed. Um, let me make this actually a little bit bigger here so you guys can see it. We went through and tested all sorts of different variables here. So the first one's gonna be ADS, right? With no headset on, we heard uh, the weapon ADS 
between 16 and 19 meters, depending on the weapon type. So if you were running like, let's say an MP7 or a SCAR, even with a suppressor on it, um, a 5.56 SCAR, it was 16-ish meters. If you were running a AXMC or a RPD, it was out to 19 meters. And that's the comparison you'll see for the rest of these. Comtac 4s were between 25 and 36. Sordans were 24 to 35. So that one little meter difference between the headsets like I was talking about. Now, weapon actions, things like adjusting your scope or turning on a flashlight, uh, cycling your bolt, checking your bolt, things like that. Those were 27 meters with no headset. Contacts were 29 meters and Sordans were also 29 meters. So still 30 meters that you're gonna hear somebody, uh, all things ignore other things being ignored uh with headsets on now spinning we saw some interesting results here so if you're spinning in place uh without headsets it was 16 meters with contact fours 26 uh swords 24 but that was crouched if you were crouched and spinning around so th this is the difference here if you're crouched no headset is 16 meters if you're standing no headset the spinning noise is 24 meters But you didn't see this difference translate to headsets, which is really weird to me. Um, the Both of them, crouching or standing, made the same noise. It was 26 meters and 24 meters for the Comtax and Sordans. So that struck me as really weird. I don't know if that's a bug. I don't know if that's just an oversight. Either way, I think that the spin, the crouching sound being the same is fine for now. And nobody's really not wearing headsets. So just consider 25 meters is where somebody's gonna hear you spinning in place, which is further than crouching. And that's what we looked at next, right? So I have crouch speed one, crouch speed two. This is basically just minimum speed and maximum speed. Those are the two variables we tested. I didn't, I'm sure there's a gradient between them. Um, but I didn't check that because uh, people are usually not in between. Um, crouch speed one with no headsets was 10 meters. With Sordans, it was 15 meters and Comtax fours, it was 16 meters. So that is crouch speed one, underweight, middleweight, overweight, it didn't matter. We saw these pretty similar results as well as on different material types. It didn't matter if we were concrete or metal or wood or whatever. Now for speed two, where you're walking, you're fully crouched and you're walking as fast as you can. Without headsets, again, weird change here, 14 meters, but no difference with headsets on. It was still 14 and 15 meters respectively, which is weird because it looks like it's one meter less. And I almost fudged these numbers just to make it the same, but I wanted to, to show that with ambient sounds and different things that you can get variable results. And I don't think that these are actually quieter um, I just think that it's a difference in how we were looking at it. For all measurable purposes, think 15 meters for crouching. It doesn't matter if you're all the way slow or all the way fast, as long as somebody's got a headset on. So with all that, it just doesn't matter what speed you're doing. As long as you're crouched, you're making the same noise. Now going to walking, Kind of a similar but different deal. Uh, minimum speed, 33 meters, which is still insanely far. Full walking speed, 50 meters with no headsets. That, again, this is just too far. Uh, talk about that another time. Uh, minimum speed walking, Sordans are 53, Comtacks are 54. Full speed walking, Sordans are 58, Comtacks are 61. So a little bit different there. It, it does benefit you to walk slower than faster. Now the kicker here is running, Sordans are 63 meters, Comtacks are 68. So there is very little difference between full speed walking and sprinting. Um, which I don't think that's a good deal. I think there should be a bigger gap there. These walking speeds should probably be pulled back a little bit. I mean, the running speed should be pulled back. The fact that you're here in 68 meters with contact fours um, or 63 with Sordans, even 50 without headsets, hearing somebody running around or walking 
it's just too far away and that's my opinion on it uh think what you want to that's fine um but that's where we're at now there's a couple important things to keep in mind here that i don't know if you're overlooking them or not this is with me being dead silent not moving and no other audio happening in the raid like ambient noises gunshots occlusion zones uh and your own steps which have a pretty huge impact on how far you can hear stuff now i i didn't get rid of ambient noise but what i did is if there was a crow cawing or dogs barking whatever we just paused the test and waited till that extra bit of extra noise quit or if it was really windy we just reset now as far as your own noise which i think is also way too loud right now um for running audio for example right i couldn't hear tower running around until about 50 meters while i was walking just walking but when i was sitting still i could hear him at 68 meters and this is with compact fours uh so that is a pretty substantial difference that's you know 18 meters which is about a 25 percent reduction in what you can hear and that is going to be more extreme with crouching and some of the other very quiet sounds uh figure probably 10 meters or less that you're going to hear somebody crouching if you're walking um ads's is going to be brought down to about 20 meters all of that kind of stuff it's because our characters are so damn loud uh it's going to really mask some of these sounds so just keep that in mind with these distances they are going to be much shorter in most of your in-game interactions unless you're obviously sitting perfectly still and there's no other audio happening and they are in the same occlusion zone as you now for some of the other bugs they fixed which are really good ones here they got at least i think so is they they, they fixed an issue with high frequency sound artifacts that would be played in certain cases such as various weapon impacts or when hitting bushes this is some of the stuff that i was talking about that was just it was uncomfortable to play the game um and so this is fixed that's good this is one of the things i was talking about that man i'm glad they fixed bugs with this kind of stuff because it just sucked it wasn't even like a personal preference thing it was just actually uncomfortable to play the game for me anyways the next one uh was a fix that had to do with uh just that just sucked for gameplay was there was an issue with the sound of some weapon operations would be audible through thick walls without sound occlusion effects for the other players so what this meant is somebody could be like four doors down or four rooms down from you and should have been occluded or a completely different occlusion zone and you would hear them as if you were in the same occlusion zone so you were hearing adsing out to you know 35 40 meters of somebody that you couldn't hear walking which just confuses you and makes you wonder makes you literally think makes you think there was two different people because you'd hear the ads that would be crystal clear but then you'd hear walking that was muffled and they were coming from the same people but it sounded different to you so you thought there was two at least that's how it played out for me a couple of times so good fix and then the last one is fixed an issue with sound of container searching that would play incorrectly in first person so this was like and i can't remember exactly what it was but you'd like loot some container you'd like loot a scav and it would make the sound of a computer or you know a toolbox it would make the sound of a bag i can't remember what they were those are just guesses uh but there was some off sounds for looting and they fixed those which they're not a huge deal but annoying so it was good to good to have those fixed so all said and done these are all great changes i'm stoked to see them play out uh and see how the game adjusts and how we play and how players adjust to these sounds um especially if bsg sticks with what this looks like as a systematic testing and working through the various issues but that being said the sound system is still quite a ways off from being good and that isn't even considering some of the you know the major bugs with uh, occlusion zones and oculus audio like the audio pop and you know just occlusion zones doing weird stuff but still a positive direction i'm happy to see it wrapping it up i still think distance is a problem i still don't think we should be hearing players that far away i think that actually causes a more ratty can i don't want to say ratty but it, it makes it to where people hold up more because they hear you so far away it gives them a chance to respond before you hear them so with that being changed if we get that dialed into here eventually as well i think we'll be positive and i could be wrong it could make things worse and if that's the case i'll be on the boat of changing things to a different direction um i just want the game to be more fun and not just for me as a streamer or a content creator but for everybody that plays it so i think it's just going to be a bit as we work through it to figure out where that sweet spot is but we'll wrap it up there uh as always thank you guys for watching uh don't forget to that like button subscribe if you haven't it helps me out a ton doesn't cost you guys anything um and as always i appreciate it so sign off there i wish you guys the best of luck in your raids and we'll see you in tarkov